what's up guys welcome back to my channel and uh, today i'm going to talk about the introduction to computer questions and answers so in this video i'm going to explain all these questions that uh, you are seeing on the screen as we go along so all i want you to do is just to watch the video to the end in order to understand more so without wasting time let us go straight to question number one what is a computer a computer is an electronic device that accepts data as input, processes it according to programmed instructions, stores the information, and produces output. Computers can perform complex calculations, store vast amount of information, and automate various tasks. Question number two, what are the main components of a computer? The four main components are hardware, which consists of physical components, into bracket CPU. CPU in full it means central processing unit, monitor, keyboard, among other examples. And then software uh, are just programs and operating what systems of the computer. Then data is the information processed by the computer. Then number four the user, the person operating the computer. So the computer cannot operate on its own. There has to be someone uh, operating the computer. And therefore they have included here the user. Then question number three, what is the difference between hardware and software? Hardware refers to the physical, tangible components of a computer. For example, we have monitor, keyboard, and motherboard then there are other examples. Hardware are just physical parts of the computer. The things you can be able to feel, you feel them, those are what we call hardware. And then software refers to the programs and operating systems that run on the hardware and tell it what to do. In simple terms, software are just the programs the computer uses. And then we go to question number four, which is what is the function of the CPU? The CPU, or which is referred to as central processing unit, is the brain of the computer that performs most processing. It interprets and executes instructions from the hardware and software. Then we go to number five, what is RAM and what does it do? A RAM, or random access memory, is a temporary memory that stores data and programs while they are being used. It provides fast access to information but loses all data when power is turned off. And then number six, what are the input and output devices? Input devices allow data entry into the computer. For example, uh, we have keyboard, mouse, scanner, among others. That's, those are the examples of input devices. Then output devices display and present data from the computer. And the examples, you have monitor, printer, speakers, among other examples. Then we go to number seven. What is an operating system? An operating system is a system software that manages computer hardware and software resources and provides common services for computer programs. Examples include Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and then others. Number eight, what is the difference between system software and application software? System software manages computer operations, into bracket OS, utilities, device, drivers, etc. Then application software performs specific tasks for users like word processors, games, web browsers, among other examples. Then number nine, what is a computer program? A computer program is a sequence of instructions written in a programming language that a computer can execute to perform a specific task. And then number 10, what is the difference between primary and secondary storage? Primary storage is a temporary fast memory directly accessible by CPU into bracket RAM cage. And then secondary storage is permanent storage for data. 
into bracket hard drives, SSDs, US, USBs, drives, and other examples. Then number 11, what is a file? What are common file types? What is a file and what are common file types? A file is a collection of data stored as one unit. Common types include, you can see something like this when you are saving, like docs, like this docs, which is Word documents. And then when it begins with Excel, that is Excel spreadsheet, then JPEG, then JPG, that is JPEG images, MP3, that is audio. When, when you see something like this, it means executable programs, like that. Then number 12, what is a computer network? A computer network is a system that connects two or more computers to share resources and information. Networks can be local or wide area network. Then number 13, what is the internet? The internet is a global network of interconnected computer networks that use standard protocols to communicate and share information. Number 14, what is a web browser? A web browser is application software used to access and view websites. For example, Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Edge, etc. Then, number 15, what is a computer virus? A computer virus is a malicious software that replicates itself by modifying other programs and inserting its own code, often harming system operations. Number 16, what are some basic computer security practices? Use strong passwords. Install antivirus software, keep software updated, be conscious with email attachments, regularly back up important data. Number 17, what are the main parts of a computer? The main parts of a computer include CPU, which is central processing unit, and uh, it is the brain of the computer that processes instructions. Then monitor, the screen that displays output. Keyboard, a device used to type and input data. Mouse, a pointing device to navigate the screen. Uh, then we have storage. That consists of hard, hard drive, SSD, where data and files are stored. 18. What is hardware and software? Hardware are the physical parts of the computer or the, the physical components of a computer. Examples we have CPU, RAM, keyboard, among others. Then software are the programs and operating system that run on a computer. For example, Windows, Microsoft Word, etc. We have talked about that one earlier. What is an operating system? An operating system is a software that manages computer hardware and software resources. Examples include Windows, Mac OS, Linux, among others. What is the difference between RAM and ROM? That one we have talked about. And then we come here, what are input and output devices? This one we have also talked about. 